One of the ways I promote community and interaction in my classroom is by utilizing Laulima's forums um, in an innovative way. So almost every week um, students will have at least one forum post that they both initiate a message and then respond to other students with. So this is an example that's in week 10 of the course and at this point students have learned how to respond to each other in a specific helpful way. And you'll see I have most of the students responding still which I consider a success in this kind of class. Um, I'll just show you an example so this was getting in progress feedback on sketches that will be for one of their big projects and I've gone ahead and opened just one of these sketches and what a peer would do is look at the sketches and answer some specific questions that I have already posed for them in order to give this person feedback um, early in the semester I also give feedback to everyone and at this point in the semester depending on uh, whether I think they need additional thoughts or not, I will also give more clarification and feedback. Um, and I also do a general feedback video which gives kind of an overview of what I noticed um, for the class. But students are always invited to email me um, using the mail tool or just typing my, my email address that's available to them um, in Laulima or on the syllabus um, and they're also invited to use my virtual office through Blackboard Collaborate. Um, these tools are all introduced in week one of the weekly modules and so I kind of teach students how to navigate through the course during week one. I also introduce some outside resources for students and students are always invited in their feedback to add additional thoughts and include resources they think will help each other. But here's an example of a, a TV show that I was featured in um, so they got an idea of who I was. Some other um, stuff from Adobe is down here at the very bottom. Okay, so there's a variety of um, technical ways students can get a hold of me and each other. Um, and this is week one of my weekly modules where I introduce these ways. So one really great synchronous way students can connect with me online is through using my virtual office hours and this uses Blackboard Collaborate to connect synchronously with students. Multiple students can come at once and wait in queue for me or talk together in a room. Um, and they can also email me or of course we already interact through forums as shown. Um, here in La Lima you'll see there's a link to my virtual office and this is what students would download and it would open up in Blackboard Collaborate. Now back in the weekly modules I'm going to go ahead and advance to our current week and you'll see there's multiple ways I give students information and since this is a digital art class a lot of my information is through videos. Um, I do a weekly feedback video uh, responding to the work that was just turned in and I turn that in by that's submitted and up, updated here by Wednesday at noon and um, that's in my syllabus which I'll show you in a second um, I do an overview video all the specific content that they need to go over and when possible I will also provide PDFs with these so you'll see PDF, PDFs especially in the activities that they need to turn in so you'll see a lot of these same slideshows um, or directions are also um, with the videos. In the activities table here they have those same directions and walkthrough videos and the rubric for all these are at the very bottom so they can click on the rubric and understand what they're, they have to show in order to get credit and how many points these are. Now in my syllabus which I think is up here, uh, when it defines classes it sets up the classes on a weekly schedule so students turn in forums um, by Friday night and feedback by Sunday night. I give feedback by Wednesday. Okay, my course has kind of a hierarchy of scaffolded assessments that students work through in order to learn digital art, um, the concepts behind artistic design, and also creating something in a new um, application that they haven't worked in before. So we have small creative and technical exercises and forums. 
Um, we have assignments, which compound the skills that they have learned. We have big creative projects, which I'll delve into more in a minute. But these are where students can really apply their own interests toward a big creative project and demonstrate everything they've learned so far. We have quizzes and also technical demonstrations of learning. So this can range from an essay to a multiple choice quiz where they can continually submit and improve their grade um, to a, an exercise um, that's actually done in uh, Adobe Illustrator, which runs with this class. And then uh, we finally present our work the, kind of at the end of class and reflect on our learning. Now, within the projects themselves, students advance through um, kind of a process that they get feedback on each time. So here's the student's sketches for our package design, which is a CD cover. And he has three different ideas for his CD cover that he got feedback on. Uh, he turns in, when he finally completes the work, his final version uh, after getting in-progress feedback. He also um, grades himself, so he doesn't necessarily get this grade, but he self-assesses and he writes a design brief which basically explains his evolution through the project and his understanding of what he was asked to do. And so these are all submitted with his final project. Um, I also uh, continually try to improve the course through mid-semester evaluations and for this specific online class, I always invite students to email me um, with ideas they have for improving the course that I put into action. Students mostly collaborate in how they give feedback to each other. Okay, here's where the student learning outcomes are on my syllabus. So this is on the first page and these are straight from Curriculum Central. Additionally, I have in my project descriptions, if you scroll to the bottom, uh, it talks about grading criteria and the learning objectives being met. Uh, this is also on the grade sheet for projects, as you saw in a previous segment. Back to the syllabus, I also, down near the bottom, talk about uh, what students can expect in terms of turnaround time for communications with me. And so I'm just saying here that it takes me 24 hours uh, max to get back via email, considering normal working days. And I say that I may take longer on weekends, um, but usually I actually don't. Grades are actually back to students by the time I put my feedback video up on Wednesday um, at noon. And I actually get it back quicker a lot of times, so that's kind of the latest I reserve for that. Projects are the only thing that differ, and those might take me up to a week. Um, students also create actual artifacts that are used in my class later. So these are examples that I give students, and they were made by other students. Um, and these artifacts later also go on into our spring showcase each year. supporting learners. Um, I try to organize my information and what's expected and how to navigate the course and how to know where to turn things in uh, by reminding them in, in many ways. Right, First, before the semester starts, I email all the students um, and I give them the link to the weekly modules, which is also linked both here as a standalone site on the home page of our Lalima page and also over here as an embedded site. Um, I also have the schedule available at the bottom of the syllabus and I try to stick to this. So this says what is due each week and when, what they should get started on, uh, what readings and research they should do, which is linked at the bottom of the weekly modules, what topics we're covering. And this continues for each week so I try to stick by that. In the weekly modules you'll see at the bottom in the activities table there are due dates and times um, where students turn these in along with how to do all the instructions for the actual activities and then any rubrics they need to see. Um, additionally, due dates 
are available in the schedule. And this is showing a monthly view, so they can see this. Things will alert them when due dates are coming up. Um, and it's also embedded into anything that they turn in, like forums, quizzes and surveys, um, and submissions. So the, the due dates are all built into those. Um, I also have started giving students announcements um, on a weekly basis. So here's my week 10 reminders, week 11 reminders, just in case they aren't getting these. And there's a nice option in announcements which allows me to automatically email students. Um, so I send this out near the beginning of the, the week, Monday or Tuesday, to just remind them what's coming up, some general feedback that I also include in my feedback video, and um, what's due at the end of the week.